Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Confessions of a Dollar Tree Addict. Today I am taking you guys on a Dollar Tree road trip haul that I never even went on. Over the summer, Pamela from Pamela's World and Constance Butterfly Mom Creations and more got together in New York, went to South Carolina, and then drove all the way back and shopped till they dropped. And I got to reap the no gas mileage benefits of it. And tonight I have that Dollar Tree haul because of course they were sending me pictures and asking me what I wanted. I got to go shopping with them via the miracles of modern day smartphones. So this is a wish list haul that's been delivered directly to my house, which honestly, it really is a wish list haul, which is why that's what I called it. Lately, a lot of the items that I see being hauled all over the country don't come to New York. We do still get really cool stuff, but we're getting different stuff than a lot of the other places in the country. I've noticed it. We're getting a lot of Canadian brands that are being shipped from Canada to New York. I guess somehow that is cheaper than shipping them cross country. I don't know exactly what the deal is, but I definitely have noticed that we're receiving items here that are not going other places and we're not necessarily getting all of the things that we see other people getting. Whereas we used to always get those items somewhere in New York. And Pamela and I were on it. If it was out here, we would find it. So this is truly a wish list haul. And I'm so grateful to my two wonderful friends and YouTube sisters for bringing it to me. And what better time to share it than either on my birthday or around my birthday? Because I'm recording this um, a few days before my birthday and I have a funny feeling that this or the other video, one of these videos, but there's going to be another video of friend mail that I popped my nail off in. So I don't know which is going to come first, the chicken or the egg, if you guys know what I'm saying. But um, we're going to get into this wish list haul. This haul has it all, guys. Everything you've seen, except for those beautiful pink granny glass jars that I'm obsessed with, that... I've gone upstate. P Every time Pamela has gone anywhere on a road trip, she comes back devastated and she's like, I wanted to find those jars for you so badly. She wants them for herself too, of course. Pamela loves pink. Pink isn't even my favorite thing, but who wouldn't love those jars? I've been looking for those beautiful jars for ages. With the exception of those jars, I feel like my entire wish list is practically filled well, well, let's not get crazy. My Dollar Tree wish list is forever growing. But between Pamela and Constance's road trip um, haul for me and Michelle, who is a wonderful, beautiful, hey, Michelle subscriber, who gave me friend mail in, one, in that video where my nail is missing, and Ginger Sadie's Crafts Mercedes, between all of them, I feel like there's not too much that I haven't gotten out of the Dollar Tree. Of course, there are tons of things that I wanted for my population. Those things have not come. There are no toys in the Dollar Tree. And you know what? Shame on you, Dollar Tree, because there are children who need those toys in New York, probably more than in other parts of the country, because for some crazy reason, Charitable donations in New York have gone down to a bare bones minimum. So children in need need things like that. And Dollar Tree stopped bringing it. But, but we're just talking about my wish list for myself. As far as things that I wanted for me or for me to put in giveaways for you guys, this is unbelievable. The items that they have all given me are literally like my birthday gifts, which is why I'm hauling everything now. But I'm going to get into this haul now because I could talk about that forever. I'm just going to grab. There's so much amazing stuff. The hits are just going to keep on coming, you guys. So here's the thing. Some of these items were given to me from Pamela. Some of these items were given to me from Constance. I honestly don't know which one came from who. Please forgive me, guys. It is my birthday. You can't get mad at me. So they went on the road trip and they brought me a bunch of stuff. But before Constance left, she also sent me a box. But then... 
You guys know I live in a really little house with crazy dogs. So I had to put everything in one giant bag and a box and it's all mixed up. So now I'm just going to call it my wonderful YouTube sister haul road trip haul because it's amazing stuff. And this says a balanced diet is a cupcake in each hand. So gorgeous. This could be my very favorite stitch and weft towel so far. This feels like chef aprons. If you guys know what those feel like, that's what this feels like. And then this one is beyond amazing. These are actually the nicest. It's almost, do you guys see that? Oh my God. This is the nicest one so far. These are not identical fabric. There are two different types of fabric and that has yet to happen to me. So these are really special. And again, a balanced diet is a cupcake in each hand and it is my birthday. So there you go. This is my birthday cake that you guys are having with me. My cupcake that is. Wow. This one is spectacular. I hadn't even realized. My gosh, this one is gorgeous. This one says together is our favorite place to be. And do you guys see the color of blue that is? Oh my, that's, that's gorgeous. I, I just cannot get enough of these stitch and weft towels. I really can't. Those are definitely staying here. A lot that I've bought, I plan to gift, but these are special. So they're mine. Oh my gosh, you guys, the cuteness overload is too much for me. Do you guys see how cute these are? These are wonderful. The packaging alone is killer. You could actually take this stuff, the stickers off of it and use these on your desk and put stuff in. It's like soft plastic, but inside of here, these were $5 at five and below, but they ended up at the Dollar Tree and you have to pry them open like a paint can. I'm going to give it a shot. I'm finally opening this. I'm going to do this probably tonight. And it does have instructions on the top that are pretty self-explanatory because inside of it is a mask that is paint mud mask and brush set. Hydrating coconut water, one clay mud mask and one paintbrush. So you're putting it everywhere. It's pretty easy to figure that out. Take mask out of here, slather it all over your face. But the packaging is phenomenal. Look at this, you guys. I mean, come on. Come on. How amazing is that? Has a cute little painter's brush that you could read. Oh, wow. It's really nice, too. Oh, my gosh. I love it. Probably won't use that, though, for the mask. I'll just. Oh, and it's seal. Oh, look at that. It's like. Yeah, I'm doing that tonight. It is like a lavender, iridescent, coconut, hydrating mud mask. This is going to be good. And they did give me a few of these. So I have one for me, one for a friend, and probably one for a giveaway. So that just makes it even more amazing. I, I think it's in the other bag, but I know that I have a few of these. So I am completely thrilled with this. I can't tell you how grateful I am. I love all of these products and they never came here. Why Dollar Tree? I don't know. Now these, I know actually that um, Constance sent me a bunch of them in a box and Pamela and Constance picked them up on the road trip and they do have a habit of sort of disintegrating, but that's okay because I use them in my hot tub. They're gorgeous. You see how nice that is? So they're a bath bomb plus a candle that you can light and it floats in the hot tub. It's really nice. It smells so good. And this is a Halu bath bomb. Get lit. <laughs> Floating candle bath bomb. Perfect for my birthday. It's a Halu product, like I said, and it says unicorn set wish upon a star bath bomb. It's just amazing for a buck and a quarter. Packaging is amazing. Everything about this bath bomb is wonderful. All of the Halu products that I personally have tried over the years are amazing. I've already tried one of these because like I said, I did have several in the box and what they brought on the road trip. I have tried the mermaid spray by Halu. That mermaid glittery lotion 
that has the mermaid scales on it by Halu. You guys know the one I'm talking about. That came here, and that is an amazing product. Absolutely wonderful. And a long time ago, we had Halu bath bombs that had little gnomes inside of them. Do you guys remember those? Those were Halu. Those were wonderful. Really, really good bath bombs. So definitely, I love Halu. And we had Halu a long time ago. We had other products by Halu, I would say like two, three years ago that we didn't see go anywhere else or hardly anywhere else. And now Dollar Tree flipped it. So they, they know what they're doing. They like to keep us on our toes, but they always tease us with a little something, something. They know what they're doing. This with the accent marks, good, um, from Burt B's Natural Body Lotion, Vanilla Flame, uh, Vanilla Rice Milk, eight fluid ounces. This was a mega, mega wish list item. Never came here. Ooh, what does it say on the back? Oh my God. It says that it's like love letters to your skin. <laughs> that is so cute. Wow. This smells really good. Right. We're going to try this out right now. Ooh, I love it. It's like a rich vanilla. This is definitely an incredibly nice product. It is like a sultry vanilla and I'm definitely going to be enjoying this, especially during the winter months. I like that even more. Oh, I know that Constance found this one because she found it and she was like, girl, it's red. And I feel like maybe we did have it in the very beginning, but we didn't have a lot of it. But I don't care because I love it. And I love the Pop Fanatic vinyls. And this is in LV4 Boom. And the vinyls are hot. Speaking of sultry, you know what? I don't think we had LV4. I think we had LV5 which is almost this color, but not quite. This is like an orangey red, and I love these. It's gorgeous. I really, really love that. Thank you. I know that came, that came from Constance, because I actually remember her calling me and being like, you're not going to believe what I found. I found a red you don't have. Then they brought me these, and these are by Dove, and they're not one, but two, brand name, individually wrapped, really amazing. I've actually tried these already because they got me several and they're amazing. I love them. If you, for some reason, still see these in your store and you've been hesitating to buy them, grab them. They are amazing. And let me know in the comments down below if these items are items that are on your wish list too and that you have or have not found yet. I'm just curious because we really have had some slim pickings. We had these huge bottles of salon size Pro Effects cuticle oil in apricot. And I hunted those like crazy and I never found not even one bottle. And I was on the hunt like crazy. And other YouTubers were contacting me and telling me where it was, but I had just moved to New York. Uh, moved to New York. I've been a New Yorker my whole life. I had just moved to Long Island. So when they were telling me the names of the stores, I wasn't really sure where I was going and I kept going to the wrong store. So I never got that. And I never got these either, but I have them now because I have four, no five. I have five different pro effects, huge salon size products. And this is like practically a lifetime supply of this complete three, this is my favorite one. This one is so cool. It says it shines and strengthens and seals. And what this does is basically it works as a base coat, a top coat, and a nail strengthener. Isn't that amazing? That looks very promising to me. I'm so excited. I actually didn't even know what I had in the bags. This is really like a gift, a birthday gift to me. And now this is non-yellowing, chip-resistant, high-gloss finish. Oh, yeah, they had a little bottle of this in that little four-pack that I was telling you about. But this is a huge salon size. And just look at that bottle. That's, like, just fun to own. I mean, I don't know what I could do with this in the future, but I can't wait to use these up so I could do something fun with them. You could make your own cuticle oil. Oh, wow. Yeah, these bottles are so 
These bottles are awesome. Aren't they so cool? I can't wait to dig into them. Then um, they also got me the smudge fix. And it's so funny because when Constance was here, this is like the one thing I pulled out of the bag and looked at. And then I said, you know what? I'm not going to look at it yet. I'm going to wait until I'm doing the video so I could be surprised. Like I'm on a hunt for real. Like I'm on my Dollar Tree hunting and I'm finding all of these awesome finds. I don't know. I like to do these things. And um, this one I pulled out and I was like, oh, smudge fix. And I was like, so why would I need that though? Because I could just use the nail polish remover and a Q-tip. And Constance, Constance was like, yeah, why? And then she was like, what are you talking about? what are you what and I was like yeah I could just use the cotton swab and nail polish remover this is stupid and she was like looking at me like um girl <laughs> because I was the was the one that was being really stupid at that point because I don't know what I was thinking this smudge fix salon size is like let's say you polish your nails and then you hit them on something and it gets like Ding. But see, I don't call those smudges. I call those dings. Smudges is here, in my opinion. But that's what I've always called it. Like when you get your skin, those are smudges. When you actually mess up your nail, first of all, I take all the polish off. I'm just not one of those people. If it's get if it gets messed up before it gets dry, I just take it off. Or, which is really gross, I lick it. And I have been told that that will literally kill me. So I stopped doing that. I just take the polish off. But instead of licking it and basically poisoning yourself with all of the poisons and formaldehyde and polish, you can use smudge fix, which is obviously, honestly, it could even be nail polish remover. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but it smooths it out so that you don't have to repolish it. Or maybe you could just put another coat on it. But if it's like a ding, you know, it's like all bumpy, it smooths it out. And um, she's used it and she said it's amazing. And she was like, that's not what that is, Marina. This is what it is. And I was like, oh, duh. So yeah, that's actually very useful because I'm very accident prone. And now, and now last but not least, this, oh no, it isn't last actually because I do have the sticky base coat also which I actually have used the sticky base coat because it's amazing. And I'm so sad that the sticky base coat is smaller. The sticky base coat is still bigger than a regular bottle of nail polish. It's a one ounce. These are two and a half ounce bottles. I mean, lifetime supply. This is a one ounce and I've been using it actually. This one I really, really like. It is sticky base coat it's self-explanatory. You put it on your nail and it really makes the polish that you put on it, even if it's one of those thin polishes that kind of like floats around the nail and doesn't go on smoothly or like in LA Colors, you guys know what I'm talking about. Some polishes need like two, three, and four coats. But if you get a polish like that, like a certain color or a certain, um, sometimes the ones that are less metallic or more, it depends on the formulation, but the sticky base coat makes it go on smoothly and it gives it an even coat, which I like. So you need less layers of polish. So this stuff is really, 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 really fantastic. In fact, I will definitely buy this again in the future. I wish they had a two and a half ounce size of this because the sticky base coat I think is my favorite. I buy polishes all the time and I buy like a matte one and a gray one and a sparkly one. But now I can turn any polish I want. I could do an accent nail or all the nails and then make, you know, you guys get it. I can mix it up with this matte finish. This stuff makes any polish matte. I do have a small bottle of this from China Glaze. I don't think I ever even hold it. I just have it and I've been using it. Now again, I have this huge salon size bottle, which in my opinion is practically a lifetime supply of matte finish pro effect stuff. Amazing, amazing, amazing products that thank you guys for filling my wish list because believe me, these items were on it. I do watch everybody's hauls and I was like, Ooh, I can't wait till that comes to New York. Never to be seen on our shelves. Just the little four pack came here and these are amazing. For $5, this is like all the extra 
nail stuff you could ever want. They also brought me back these Pro Effects, which I just saw Thrifty Tiffany haul this again. She had bought it a long time ago and she rehauled it. And I was like, oh, maybe, just maybe it'll finally come to New York. These may very well be my favorite products. I'm actually torn between these Pro Effects hand and body balms. And I'm torn with, between those and these. Um, the St. Ives face mists. Um the Ohm and the Zing, and you guys saw them. They brought those for me as well. Um, this one is the Grapefruit, which is yes. And the other one was Zing, but I can't remember. I think I put it in a giveaway already. I gave it away to you guys. But um, I love these. These are so... I really love the Grapefruit and the Lavender the most. So I do think I gave the other one away, but it was fabulous as well. And um, I do that. Sometimes I leave myself nothing, but that's okay. Um, I love those. I love St. Ives products. They smell good. They're wonderful. They're definitely good. They're just wonderful. Sometimes Pamela and I will be on the phone and we'll be like, remember this product or remember that product? And I'll be like, my favorite product that ever, ever came to the Dollar Tree was that stick. And I still have it somewhere, but it's empty. I've used it up. I've even Googled it. I was never able to replace it, but it turns out it was Halu because when the Halu stuff started coming into the Dollar Trees, um, I was like, oh, wow, I found something by Halu a long time ago. It is a foot, like a bomb like this for your feet, but it was made of like mango butter. And so when I heard about this one, the Pro Effects Hand and Body Balm, a uh, peach and mango butter. I was like, I'm using that on my feet. It's so similar, but this one is from Pro Effects. So I'm really excited about this one. So excited because I think it's going to, it even smells like, yes. Oh yes. This stuff is super thick, rich. Per it's a balm. All right. Perfect for your feet, hands and body. It says to put it anywhere but I'm definitely excited about that. And that is huge, you guys. It is a 2.4 ounce. I love that. Then they got me a couple of these because I'm probably going to do um, a giveaway with one. And this is a hand and body balm. And it is a scented oil therapy hand and body balm that is called So Calm, and it contains Fresia and Lavender Oil. Now, that sounds incredible. I'm going to take a whiff of this as well. Let's see. I'm putting it on my feet. There's no doubt about it. I'm excited to do that. Then again, they brought this back during the summer when they went on their road trip, but I just saw Thrifty Tiffany haul these and she thought they were lip glosses and you would think that they're lip glosses but what it is is a hard candy color correct expert cream it corrects dullness and neutralizes sallowness for fair to light skin tones pro blending brush oh it has a brush on the end that's pretty cool actually and look at those studded gorgeous cap you know and it has a pull out brush you guys see like that now, these are really pretty. You can obviously probably use it to prime your eye or, you know, neutralize your eyelid completely before you put on your eyeshadow, which is probably what I would do. I like to use something like that as a base sometimes for, especially if I haven't had sleep or if my allergies are really bad, my eyes are crazy, but I'm not going to open or swatch them right now because you never know, guys. I may just decide to put these in a giveaway. Um, they are so pretty that I feel like they're giveaway worthy. I'm not going to open them because they're precious. I don't have very many of them, and I would love to be able to share them with you guys. I'm also not going to open this because they only gave me one, and you guys know I'm not a pink girl. They would, I guess they were like, she's not a pink girl, but we're going to give her one because we don't want her to feel left out. And this is Femme Couture. I'm holding Femme Couture, you guys. New York has never seen hide nor hair of this Femme of any sort. Never mind Couture. We've never gotten Femme Couture. So this is like incredible that I'm holding it. Honestly, I never even heard of this brand until I think the first person who I saw 
I think the very first person who I saw hauling femme couture, the very first person I think was sweet Sadie J. And she was like, what is this? And she knew it was good though. And she's had a lot of it, um, in North Carolina. And so I don't know where exactly Constance and P Pamela found this. This may have been in South Carolina. They went to Georgia. They went all over the place. So there is the case and you could see the lipstick in here. It's really nicely packaged. And the name of this lipstick is Extra Spice Shiny. I don't think that it's so small that I'm not even going to try to lie. I had to pause the video and bust out the magnifying glass because it is because it is my 50th birthday and I'm not wearing glasses. But even if I wasn't, I'm going to say that that is pretty small and really hard to read. Um, so I don't know if it's focusing, but it's called Extra Spice Shiny. And it's, it's really very pretty packaging. Very beautiful. I'm not going to open this. That is definitely going to end up in a giveaway because I don't do pretty pinks like this. They don't, it's not that I don't do them. They're just not my thing. I love hot pink, like fluorescent, magenta, robust pink and some like deeper pinks, but like sweet pinks, they don't look good on me. I, I, there, I'm too ruddy. My complexion has just got a lot of red in it. It doesn't look good. But regardless, it will look beautiful on the lucky recipient who wins it. Then they brought me this Beauty and Planet. Uh, coconut oil and liang liang oil, hope and repair, three in one benefit oil. It recovers damaged hair. Wow. Wow. And I didn't know that. And I just rubbed it into my hand because I wanted to smell it. It smells so good. You guys like, look at that. Honestly, it's for your hair, but it just moisturized the hell out of my hand. So I can't even imagine what it's going to do to my hair. It smells so good. And it has this, I love when things have this type of a pump, like a serum pump, and it's not some sloppy mess because I'm very accident prone, but these are great for when you're giving yourself a blowout or you just dyed your hair and you're going to do a lot to it. You just put a little bit, like you need a tiny drop. At least I do. I don't need a lot of oil because it will definitely make my hair look greasy, but a little goes a long way with this. So this four ounce bottle could last me for the next three years and I could use it consistently because you just, I just put like a tiny little bit on the palm of my hand, go like this and then rub it through just the very ends that are brittle and it really helps. So I had actually something like this a long time ago and I ran out recently trying to remember what it was with something citrusy. I liked it as well, but, um, this is awesome. And I'm definitely going to be using that soon. That is, I really needed that. So that is amazing, actually. But there is one other item that I have never, ever seen in our Dollar Trees. And the girls didn't find on their road trip. The Fuse Gel Polish Kits. Actually, those don't have really good reviews, but I desperately wanted those. I wanted those so badly to give out at the shelters because... Honestly, good review or bad review, if you have the patience, I'm sure it works. It works, but people are not patient enough to do all of their nails separately. But as a gift, if you don't have anything and you would like to give yourself a nice manicure, those would have been great, great gifts for the ladies in the shelter. Plus, you get a gel polish with that kit and the USB port and a nail file. That was amazing, that Fuse kit. I wanted at least a case of 30 of those because that would have been enough for like a normal size shelter that I deal with. That would have been amazing, but they never came here. And honestly, if they did at this point, they wouldn't have sent them everywhere. So I wouldn't be able to get a case because it used to be that they would send stuff to all the Dollar Trees and it would be the same thing. But they haven't been doing that lately. What little exciting stuff we get, it just goes to maybe one store. You can't take everything that a store has. That's not cool. I don't do that. But I do take a little from every store until I get to my number that I need when they all get the same thing, which is how sometimes I end up with exchanges. And that horrible thing happened to me that day that I don't want to talk about anymore. But you guys know what I'm talking about. Anyway, um, 
this amazing nail polish I could use or I could gift it, but they got me a bunch of them because I do have an LED lamp and I actually do love gel polish. Um, these are by the brand Sensational and this is expensive. You do need the LED lamp, but the Dollar Tree even had one, but I have one that puts my whole hand in and like a, like it plugs in, not battery operated. I have a really good one because every once in a while I do do gel manicure. Um, so there is this color. It's so pretty. It doesn't have a name. I don't think it's just a number. Yeah, that's the color right there. It's a hot pink. I see that's the kind of hot pink that I love. And then you guys know that I just love, love that color. That's gorgeous. And then this cute baby pink is also wonderful. Very nice. And then this one does actually have a name. It's called Perfect Periwinkle. And that is a perfect name for it. Did the other ones have names and I'm just blind? Uh, one of them did. Oops. Oh, that is so weird. Oh my gosh, I really am blind. They all have a name. <laughs> What's wrong with me? This one is called Precious Peony. See that Precious Peony right there? I'm blind, you guys. And then this one is called Mostly Mint. Mostly Mint. Gorgeous. So beautiful. I love this color. It's so my color. Like these items right here all together, beautiful. That, if I lived in whatever state these were in, these would have been items plus the fuse kit that I never got. I would have put $5 worth of stuff together and made a lady a really nice gift basket. Like that's a nice gift to get for the holidays. But the Dollar Tree has not seen it fit to give me these things this year, but it will. It's coming. And then there's this color. It's called Allure. And it is like a gorgeous um, magnetic gold. You know, you put the magnet and you move the little metal particles and it makes like a different wavy shape. And those are very exciting. A little bit labor intensive, but still very exciting. Gel polish, amazing. A fabulous deal. This one is called Tantalize. And it is also one of those magnetic polishes. And that's actually gorgeous. Really beautiful. I think I might do those. I think I might do this polish for Halloween. It's really nice. So pretty. And then this is a gel manicure powder polish. And I'm very intrigued by this because I only discovered powder polish a few months ago. If you guys have been following my channel, then you know. So I think I'm going to go to the store and buy everything I need and do this powder polish. <laughs> like this $1.25 purchase is probably going to cost me a million dollars at Sally Beauty, but I'm curious. I've never done a powder color. Years ago, I did powder fake nails, however, and you, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I did do like that acrylic powder filler fake nail thing, whatever that was. I did that many times. I don't even remember the steps that it takes to do. It wasn't even that hard, actually. They were pretty cool. I did a good job, but I don't like long nails. It was at that time that I experimented and realized I am wearing fake nails right now. I look cut them. I ordered on Amazon the most fabulous thing. It is an artificial nail trimmer. And it's like, like a thing like this has like a clamp and you just go like this clamp and it just cuts them. And I love it because when the nails are longer than the edge of my hand, I just feel weird. It, they're not for me. I, I, I'm very clumsy. I don't know. It just, it doesn't work for me. And I knock them off. I, I, I could take someone's eye out. Christopher always says that I practically impale him on a regular basis. The truth is I am really clumsy and I go to like pet my son's hair or something and I poke him in the eye. So I'm really clumsy and I just don't do long nails. It's just not my thing. What else is in this magic bag of happiness? Oh, yes. These are marvelous. These are gel color glitter. And the name of this is silver. Oh, silver glitter. The name of this color is silver glitter fever. So you guys already know that I'm going to use the silver 
on top of the Misty Mint. Then I'll put these and I'll do accent. And then I'll do probably a silver accent with all of them. Or I may have to buy more glitter polishes. This investment is just the beginning of a whole bunch of other purchases that I'll be making at Sally Beauty. But I'm really excited because you know what? When I get my nails done, it's like $35, $40. If I get the powder polish done, it's like $40. So whatever I spend, I'm going to make it back doing my nails myself. It lasts longer and I can take it off at home and then give them a break. And I'm really psyched about it. I mean, this is a great, great deal. These are so impressive. Thank you guys so much. I love these. Now this by Matrix, this is legit stuff, you guys. Matrix Essentials, sleek look. Gosh, you guys, this is actually a miracle reconstructor for your hair. It actually says that. I don't know if you guys can see that right here. It says, it says that it gives you a 24 hour smooth multi-mend technology and that it is a miracle reconstructor. That sounds amazing. And of course, Matrix is always incredible scented. Really a complex, amazing smell. So when you wash your hair, put it through your hair, and then style your hair like you're going to style it. And supposedly it's going to keep your hair smooth for 24 hours. That's amazing. First of all, look at that packaging. It's gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous looking. And they got me a couple of these and I'm so excited because you guys know that I love, love getting hair care products that are bougie on a budget for a buck and a quarter at the Dollar Tree. That makes me so happy. And it's not bougie. Matrix is like a very good brand, actually. Just like Thrifty Tiffany just said, only she hauled Matrix body wash. None of us have seen hide nor hair of that here in New York, but I would not sleep on that. If I found that, I would definitely scoop some of those up because it probably smells amazing. Matrix has the best scents. So the body wash is probably the bomb, but this smells so good. And I bet this works really good. And it has that fabulous, you know, that one. I love though. I just love everything about this. This is Definitely high end at the Dollar Tree. And they did get me the Spa Scriptions Turmeric Exfoliating Facial Scrub. It looks incredible. This actually did come to New York, but we love face stuff. And I probably will be putting this in a future giveaway because I only bought one of it when this came to New York and um, I'm using it. So I will probably put this in a future giveaway. I love the colors of it. Love the packaging. I love everything I try from spa scriptions. I'm very happy with. So I'm I'm very grateful that they got me that one. And then they did bring this back for me. And there were not a lot of these in the stores because these had been out a while and they're so gorgeous. I don't know why these never came to New York. This makes me so sad. These are so pretty. I feel bad opening them because I just can't decide whether I want to open them and swatch them or save them and share them with a lucky subscriber that may not have gotten them. But it is my birthday. I really want to open one of them. It is my birthday. And I, I you know, it, this is kind of like my birthday stuff. So this is sort of like a birthday gift. I feel bad that I don't have to share with you guys. This Femme Couture Color Made Easy bronzer blush looks to be amazing. I'm going to open it because I really love it. Oh my goodness. It's just so gorgeous. Okay. So if I take my finger, okay. So if I take my finger and I just, oh, it feels great. So it does become like almost like a highlight when you do all of them and it's very well, wow, this it even has a nice scent to it. Gorgeous. Okay. So this is really incredible because when you swipe them across, you could literally do like an eye shadow treatment and the colors would be distinctly different than the 
highlight bronzer that you create by running your brush through all of it. This is beautiful. I might actually save these for a future giveaway. I don't know. Those are really my colors. I just love those colors so much. I may have to put a giveaway together because you guys are here helping me celebrate my birthday. I don't know. We'll see. But I'm definitely keeping this one because I just really wanted this so badly. It's so beautiful. Maybe there's another one of these in these bags that I haven't found yet. I'm going to go dig it. <laughs> By Garnier Umbrella. And I found this a while ago. Um, I found sunscreen, but I never found this face stick. It's just for your face. I, these are my favorite kind of sunblock. It's 50 plus sunblock. Um, by Garnier Umbrella, and it is, is it expired yet? Let's... And it's not expired yet, so I can actually still use this. This is amazing for $1.25. I'm really happy about that. I actually use sunblock almost every day because I have like a little bit of sun damage, and if you don't use sunblock, it gets worse and worse, and it makes me crazy. I don't like that discoloration. They are I think Constance actually got me this one um, because I remember her calling me about it. Big Sexy Hair. This is a small bottle, but this will last you a long time. And I really like this product. I used to buy it all the time from, was it Supercuts? I think I used to get this. Oh, yeah. They sell this at Supercuts. I, used, I think they used to sell it exclusively, but maybe not. But I always bought it at Supercuts when I would get my big 90s blowouts. And I love this volumizing gel. In fact, it makes me want to give myself a bouffant because this stuff really works. And at $1.25, it's a bargain. It was not cheap at Supercuts. This is 1.7 ounces. This is a nice little buy for $1.25 because you don't do like super big blowouts all the time. I wish I had the time to give myself those super big, big voluminous bouffanty blowouts like I used to, but I do really love this product and I may have to give myself a bouffant, maybe for Halloween. Why not? Halloween is a bouffant kind of day, if you ask me. There are two of them in the bag, actually. That means they know that I need to do a bouffant really soon. That is so funny. I love this product. There's actually a few of these LV4s here because Constance knew, I remember Constance found this, Constance knew that I love Love this Pop Fanatic vinyl. So I I have, I think, four altogether of this. So that is, um like, probably going to use that constantly. Are such a nice product. I mean, I actually am going to put some on right now. I really, really love that. I think I'm going to put some on right now. It's shiny, but it is so... Like it, it really does look like vinyl. I love this lipstick. I do wear Pop Fanatic vinyls every once in a while. Um, it's just that if I'm going to go out and there's a lot of people or I'm, you guys don't see me wearing them when I'm doing like walkthroughs and stuff, because I do still wear a mask when I'm in close quarters with other people. There is no reason not to. And if I'm like eating at a restaurant or something, um, Obviously, you're not going to wear a mask in a restaurant. So I'll wear something like this if we're going out to eat or something. But if I'm going to be shopping, I like to wear matte lipsticks. In case I get confined in a place with a lot of people, I do still want to wear a mask. So you guys don't usually see me in these because when I'm doing my walkthrough, I'm like in and out of stores and stuff like that. But I do love this specific type of shiny lipstick because it's not like a lip gloss. I don't like anything that's sheer on my lips. I love the like highly opaque vinylness of these Pop Fanatics. And I have actually purchased several of them from the Dollar Tree as well as from CVS at this point because I like this product so much. This is another item that came to the Dollar Tree and got me hooked on it. I love them. So thank you, thank you, thank you, Constance. These are so nice. I really love this color. It's beautiful. Um, I think that that is everything, you guys. If I stumble across something in a bag or 
in the future, I will just put it in my regular haul and let you guys know that it came from that trip. Like I've done a couple times in the past, but this was truly wish list fulfilled. Won't you guys agree that Constance and Pamela went on a road trip and brought me back all of my wish list items for my birthday? I think so. And I'm so grateful, you guys. Now we need to figure out who's going on a road trip next. That's what we need to figure out. So um, give the video a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it. Uh, leave a comment down below. Thank you guys for spending some of my birthday week with me. And as always, guys, stay safe and stay savvy. Bye-bye.